Box and Blocks Test Purpose The Box and Blocks Test is used to measure unilateral gross manual dexterity. It can be used in a wide variety of populations including stroke, multiple sclerosis, traumatic brain injury, neuromuscular disorders, and the elderly. Equipment required. The required equipment to perform this test is a stopwatch, a wooden box divided in two compartments by a partition, and 150 cubes of 2.5 centimeters in size. Individuals are seated at a table facing a rectangular box that is divided into two square compartments of equal dimension by means of a partition. The box should be oriented lengthwise and placed at the client's midline with the compartment holding the blocks oriented toward the hand being tested. All the wooden cubes or blocks are placed in one compartment or the other. Procedure. The individual is instructed to move as many blocks as possible, one at a time, from one compartment to the other for a period of 60 seconds. To administer the test, the examiner is seated opposite the individual in order to observe test performance. The patient should be instructed to move the maximum number of blocks from one compartment of a box to another within 60 seconds. The patient's hand must cross over the partition in order for a point to be given, and blocks that drop or bounce out of the second compartment onto the floor are still rewarded with a point. Interpretation the box and block test is scored by counting the number of blocks carried over the partition from one compartment to the other during the one minute trial period. The scoring of this test is based on the number of blocks transferred from one compartment to the other compartment in 60 seconds. Higher scores are indicative of better manual dexterity. During the test, the evaluator should notice whether the client's fingertips are crossing the partition. Blocks should be counted only when this condition is respected. Multiple blocks carried over at the same time count as a single point. Blocks that fall outside of the box after crossing the partition should be counted, even if they don't make it to the other compartment. There are numerous normative values for the box and block test. The literature reports a normative value of 88 blocks for a 20-year-old male using his right hand, and 76 blocks for a 60-year-old male using his right hand. For more information, visit www.skyerproject.com.